So how to read a function? So the way that you'd read this is a function called f is defined by a domain from negative one to infinity drawn on a graph containing all numbers with the rule f of x equals x squared. So let's have a look at each symbol in detail. This little symbol means as described by. So if I said, oh, you know, John, you'd be like, which John? And I'm like, aha, uh -huh, the dude with blue hair. So you can see this basically gives you more information or describes which John this is. So if we look at brackets, the square bracket means including from negative two all the way up to two, including both of them. If we've got a round bracket, that means not including. That means from negative two all the way up to two, but not including negative two or two. If you've got a filled in dot, that means including. And if it's empty, it means it's not including. So R means real numbers, which is pretty much every number you've ever seen ever. So anything along this number line, pretty much. Whereas Z means integer. An integer is just a positive and negative whole number and zero basically. So it can be any of these things, any of these things, and this as well. But it can't be anything in between. It has to be a whole number. Integer actually comes from a word which means whole. But you might ask, why do they use Z then? Zahen is actually a German word for number or counting. And if you look at like an integer, these are numbers you can count. Negative one, negative two, negative three, one, two, three. Ah, uh, this symbol. It basically means drawn on a graph containing blah numbers. If you have something which is drawn on every number, it would basically be anything. But if it was only drawn on integers, it could only be these numbers here, but it couldn't be anything in between. This is drawn on a graph which can contain any number, so it can be anything along this line. You can see the line is nice and smooth and covers every number. Whereas exactly the same thing drawn on a graph which only had integers would look more like this. And that's pretty much it. I hope this helps you read some functions. <laughs>